shot some other stuff in the studio. <laughs> See how this gets pieced together with the motion capture and storyboarding and the dialogue and the facials. We'll have a look. Eric, tell us what you're doing here. I'm um, working on the uh, storyboard for the cutscenes in Rises and um, now I'm just working on a background on one of those frames for the storyboard. But if you know exactly the setting, you stabilize uh, before in the briefing the setting and the characters, what exactly is happening in the storyboards, then you draw one or two, three uh, backgrounds and then the characters to the backgrounds uh, and then just compose uh, this in uh, Photoshop and PC. And so you have an animation storyboard. And so we noticed that uh, you had the gun here. Is that so yeah. nobody comes and messes with your scenes? Yes, of course, because yeah. I don't like to, to, to have a look <laughs> on the scenes. Thomas is working on the good stuff here. He's got a cut scene. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here, Thomas. All right, so I'm um, piecing together a scene that we've been uh, working on through uh, various departments. Um, so as we saw with uh, Eric's storyboards, we storyboarded the scene initially. Um, and now we've got the elements back from the various departments. So we've got like the mocap, the facials, um, and in the sequence here, we're sort of pacing, piecing them together, like the audio as well, um, and sort of making sure it sort of plays out well. Um, we've still got some little uh, replacement textures in here as well, but it's, it's coming along quite nicely, yeah. Give us a good tight shot of the major, show us All how right. that facial stuff actually manifests in a, in a so, cutscene. I think this is actually just actually first pass facial, so it's actually all pretty rough at the moment. And we've got issues with this neck piece that we might actually remove so we can see the facials better. Because when you're actually playing the game, you'll be down here, so it's a bit lower. So. So various elements, we've got to make sure we portray the best uh, spatials we can. This is so cool, so cool. All right, Chris, so we talked about rigging, we saw some facial modeling. Show me a little bit about the, uh, the game here itself. Can you show me a scene or two? Um, well, really, when it comes to like approaching realism uh, in next-gen games, really the more cores you have, the more power you have available, uh, you can make much more realistic environments. Things can be much more interactive. Um, you can just do more, so, and you can, like here, I mean, you can do more at once. <laughs> so we kind of have everything being blown to pieces. All right, so often taken for granted in games like Crisis are the cutscenes, but you've seen the detail and the magic that goes into putting those together. We'd like to thank the guys, Eric, Thomas, and Chris, for showing us how that gets done. And until the next quest, we'll see you.